Hey guys, thank you for checking out this video. My name is George. In this video, we will learn on how to use a micro SD card with ESP32 using MicroPython programming language. In order to follow this tutorial, you will need an ESP32 development board with MicroPython firmware inside, a micro SD card module with micro SD inside, a breadboard for connecting the circuit, and a bunch of female to male DuPont jumper wires to attach the SD card module to the ESP32. This micro SD breakout board has the following pins ground for the ground pins, VCC for the supply voltage which accepts up to 5 volts, MISO pin for the SPI master input slave output pin, MOSI pin for the SPI master output slave input pin, SCK for the SPI clock pin, and lastly, CS for the SPI chip select pin. Now let's assemble our demo circuit. First, Connect the ESP32 board to the breadboard. Now I will attach the DuPont jumper wires. Now let us connect it to the ESP32. Connect the ground pin or the ground, of course, to the ESP32 ground. Then the VCC to the bin pin or voltage input pin of the ESP32. Now, all other pins will be connected straight. Just like this. So that the SD card MISO pin is connected to GPIO 13, the MOSI pin to GPIO 12, the s clock pin to GPIO 14, and the chip select pin to GPIO 27. Now, let me attach it to the computer by attaching a micro USB cable. Now, for the software part, let's explore how we can use SD card using MicroPython. Let's use the repo to understand each line of code and at the same time to demonstrate how it works. The built-in SD card library in MicroPython doesn't work with me. So I found an alternative SD card library from the GitHub of Damien George. This one. Copy and paste this, this library to your ESP32 MicroPython root directory. So I already have it in my MicroPython root directory. Let me click the stop button so that the ESP32 can be detected. Okay, as you can see, it's already here. But if you don't have, you can click the file menu, select save as, select MicroPython device, and save it as sdcard.py. Then click OK. I already have it. I will just hit cancel. I will close this. Now let me click the run button to execute the source code. It begins by importing the OS module in order to handle files. Then import the pin class from the machine module in order to access ESP32 pins. Then the SOP SPI to create a virtual SPI. With the use of virtual SPI, it makes possible to assign different pins for the SD card module. Now create the SOP SPI object named SPI SD with MISO pin connected to GPIO 13, MOSI pin to GPIO 12, S clock pin to GPIO 14. Then create an SD card object named SD using this SPI SD object that we created and set the chip select pin to GPIO 27. Then as you can see here in the repo, that initially 
the MicroPython device root directory contains only boot.py and sdcard.py, which is printed using this line of code. But after the virtual file system of the SD card is created and mounted, MicroPython device root directory now contains SD directory, which is printed by this print method to the repo. Then we change directory to SD, this directory, and printed what it contains inside. So as of now, it contains none. But don't worry, later on we will create some files on it. Now let's see some basics of handling the MicroPython file system. To create a new file for writing, we use f is equal to open. Then the file name, let's say sample1.txt and set the permission to write. Then close. Hit enter. Next, we can write what we want inside the sample1.txt. Let's say f.write and some text. Some text for the sample1. Let's close. Now, let's close the file f.close. Now, to read what is written inside the sample1.txt, we can again open f is equal to open sample1.txt, but this time with the permission of read r and close. Now, we can print it using print f.read. Open and close. Hit enter. So, as you can see, this is the text we write inside the sample1.txt. To append some text in the existing file, let's say in the sample1.txt, we can open it again. F is equal to open sample one the text with the permission of append or a hit enter sorry let's close this first this is not what we want it should be sample one the text so f is equal to open sample one the text and append so we can write what we want inside. So that is F right. Let's put it in the next line by adding backslash R backslash N. Then the text we want. Another sample text. Backslash R backslash N. And hit enter. Then let's close it. F that close. Now, if we read again the sample one that text, let's read it. Okay. F is equal to open sample one that text. Hit enter. Then let's print it. Where is that? Print f.read and as you can see it contains this another line of characters now let us list what are the files currently in the sd card directory print os.list dir open and close and as you can see this is sample one the text that we are using and sample the text we accidentally created but it's okay because we can demonstrate how to delete a file that is done by using os that remove open then the name of the file in this case sample the text
then hit enter. Let's print again the directories. Print OS that list directory. And as you can see, now it only contain the sample one that text. Now to create a new folder or a, a new directory, we can do it by using OS that MK or make directory, then the name of the directory. Let's say folder. Hit enter. Now, if we list the directories, we can see that there is now a new folder named folder. Let's create another one. Let's say folder 2. Then let's list the directories. And now it contains another directory named folder 2. Now, to delete a folder, that is simply done by os.rmdir, then the name of directory we want to delete. That is folder, let's say the folder 2. Then hit enter. If we list the directories, we can see that the folder 2 is deleted. Now, what if we want to go inside this folder? So that is simply done by os.ch directory folder. Let us list what are inside the folder. So that is os.list directory, which contains nothing. Let's create a new folder, this one. So let's say that is os mkdir make directory let's call it subfolder hit enter then let us list the directory the folder directory now contains subfolder now let's return to the sd directory os.chdir sd hit enter by its error. Let's send again. OS PHDIR backslash SD. Okay. It should be backslash SD. Let's list the directories. Okay. Now we are back in the SD directory. Now, to rename a file or a folder, let's rename this folder as directory or dir. So that is os that rename open. Then the previous name, which is the folder, comma. Then the new name we want. Let's call it dir. Then close. Hit enter. Now, if we list the directory, the previous folder name is now dir. How about the sample one, the text? Let's rename a file. So that is os that rename sample one, the text, comma, and let's call it file text and hit enter then if we list the directory we can see that the previous sample one that text is now file the text so that's pretty much of it i hope you learned something from this as always the source code that is in here including other details can be found in the companion blog post for this video at techtotinker.blogspot.com Links in the description If you have any question regarding this video, write your message in the comment box provided. And if you enjoyed this video, please do like and share so that it can reach more people who might benefit from this. Please don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell 
because I will be uploading more videos like this in the future. Thank you and have a good days ahead. God bless.